Hey guys, great news. My husband got a green card, which means that we're free to travel whenever we want and we want to travel ASAP. And this is basically what we're doing. I'm packing my carry-on. So today, I'm gonna take it to the airport. I'm gonna show you how the process works and I'm gonna teach you vocabulary that's associated with traveling in the United States, in Europe. Uh, things like TSA pre, global entry, carry on, like all of that stuff. I'm gonna explain all the terms and uh, you're just gonna see me fly uh, from San Francisco to Munich. Let's do it. Uh, both. <laughs> Sila, say hi to everyone. Sila. Oh! <laughs> Here it flies sometimes, but not today. We're now heading to the airport on a Tesla, which is very San Francisco, very Silicon Valley style. And we have a moonroof. It's a new word for you. Moonroof is when you can see the sky through the rooftop of the car. One of the most common questions I get from you guys in my DMs on Instagram is uh, what means off to? Because I'm always like off to Munich, off to Italy, off to San Francisco. So this off to is like I am off to, which means I'm going to uh, San Francisco, I'm going to Munich. It's just a, an easy and short way to say that you're heading somewhere. So off to whatever means you're traveling or going somewhere. Uh, we are, by the way, approaching uh, San Francisco International Airport. Oh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out. It's Lingua Marina waiting for you there. Yay! Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank have, you. Have a nice day yeah. for you guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. International terminal departure level. Departure means take off. You know that, right? So tonight, get ready to fly. We're gonna live it all up in the sky. Virgin America knows. Uh, it's just a song in an airline. Oh my god, look at the line. Economy, business, probably that side. Very understand that business world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks better. United Polaris over there. So we're in business. There's still a line in America. There are three types of flights now in the world. There are three types of flights. First, first class, second business class, third economy. They call it coach. Because we only have the carry-on. Uh, we checked in through the check-in kiosk. Continue. No, thanks. Accept. Accept. No bags. TSA pre. Okay, I'm going to tell you what that means in a second. I'm just going to pick up. Finish. So, this is the line for regular boarding, for regular check. This is TSA pre. TSA pre is only for residents, and they checked my background, uh, they made sure I'm not a criminal, and uh, this means that I can go through everything very fast. Like, look at the line, I'm just skipping it. And uh, I'm not required to take out my yeah, laptop. Yeah, no. I can just, you know, go straight. I cannot film here, but uh, it's gonna take seconds.
was just $35, which is common for all of the countries outside the US, like Europe and stuff, but very uncommon for the US. We are looking for a gift from my doctor in Germany. Flip flops for $270 or maize. Another term that I wanted to explain is called global entry. If you've ever been to the US, comment down below with the amount of time you had to wait uh, to go through passport control. Because when I used to come to the US as a tourist on a tourist visa, I was spent like on average like an hour just waiting in line to go through passport control. And I know it's a mess like in all the big airports, New York. New York and LA are the worst. San Francisco is pretty much okay. San Jose is the best. But after I got my green card, I applied for a global entry program. Again, they uh, verify that you're not a criminal. Uh, they do a background check on you. And when you arrive in the US, you see global entry. It's like a separate lane. And it takes two minutes to get into the US without waiting for two extra hours. So if you're a resident here, highly recommend it. Global entry and TSA free. It's only for the US. It's not like an international thing. I think it looks great on me, but the problem is it's $900. So our flight is delayed by 35 minutes. Flight delayed by one hour, by two hours. Hopefully it's just 35 minutes and then we'll get on board because it's a it's an 11 hour flight, it takes a while. I don't want to spend another two hours at the airport. So, we're now free to travel where we want. And while my flight is delayed for another half an hour, Hopefully that's the last delay, this is like the second delay that they just announced. I'm gonna give you some more phrases. So when you're going to just one destination, like I'm flying San Francisco Munich, I got a one-way trip ticket, uh, one-way trip flight. That means that I'm not going back from Munich to San Francisco because I'm actually flying from Rome to LA. At least that's the plan, we'll see how it goes. Because I just want to spend as much time in Italy as possible. Oh my god, I think San Francisco is the only airport in the world that has this, like a terrace, a deck, where you can just sit outside, enjoy some fresh air, instead of being stuck in a building. Because I'm going to be stuck on an airplane for another 11 hours. This is, this looks like our airplane, by the way. We're flying United. This is a Lufthansa, a double-decker. Look, double-decker because it has the zero and the first floor, or whatever you call them, first and second floor. Wow. Just people relaxing here. Nice. Oh. My. God. Isn't it perfect? Isn't this amazing? Can, please, can every single airport in the world have something like that? Including California Sun? Oh gosh. Here is the reason behind our delays. To get on your way while a maintenance team services a fluid leak on your airplane, wear aside your flight and your plane departing from gate 93. Here we go, one hour late. In Munich, I have a meeting at 12 p.m., which means I will have one hour to pass password control. Luckily, I don't have luggage, so I don't have to wait for my suitcase to arrive on the belt. Uh, I just grab my bag and uh, get a taxi and head off to my meeting. This is called a carry-on. This is a small suitcase that you can bring with you 
on the airplane carry on and you're also allowed to have one personal item this is my personal item and if you're checking in bags that means you have like a really big suitcase that you cannot bring with you uh, you just give it away at the check-in and then they deliver it back to you when you arrive at your destination so this time I'm only traveling with my carry-on it's my first international flight from America to Europe with just a carry-on Wow. Welcome to a business lounge. I'm actually glad that our flight is delayed. Normally business lounges in the US are really basic, but this one looks really good. We're gonna show you the amenities. We've got a room for babies, shower suits. So here's the shower room. What do we have here? We've got towels, we've got shower, we've got slippers. Hey, I like it. Yeah, I bought it go. You wanna go for a shower? Like uh, in like 10 minutes or so. But we're boarding in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that can work. <laughs> <laughs> he took shower in the morning. But just because there is shower here, <laughs> he still wants to take shower. You guys, this is by far the best in the flowers. Follow the start on Instagram. Us, like, I'm encouraging him to speak English on his Instagram because he's sticking to Russian, but it's great practice for me. Oh, wow. There's like somewhere you can sleep. Yeah, probably we can Maybe stay someone's here. sleeping. <laughs> picture from my Instagram. <laughs> Let's explore the second floor. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah. Like, this is by far the best one, right? Yeah. This is a huge business. Yeah. What? And we're sitting in this small Vietnamese place. <laughs> we're like, uh... <laughs> Let's take a look at the food options. Vegetable egg rolls, beef, chicken tikka masala, one of my favorites. Drinks, oh, cold noodle salad, love it. Quinoa, spinach. Mini burgers. Dima, I've got something for you. <laughs> it's right here. I see. You see? We need to try. Looks too good. Banana pudding truffle? Truffle. Good? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Last five kilograms. <laughs> yeah, and you could also have proper dinner. Wow. We could sit here and have salmon, Japanese rice. There was a free restaurant here. Oh my god. Next time, we'll check it out. Oh, the cake. Wow. Wow, you, you just uh, got awarded for like the best, best mm -hmm. business class lounge. Oh my god, congratulations. It's really the best. Yeah, <laughs> We've really been to many. Lounge. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, so much food. Can you please delay my flight for another half an hour? <laughs> we can do it. We can do it over the next few years. Um, for example, the Star Lions Lounge in LA has been the best Alliance Lounge for four years old. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get it? Thank you. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you like some wine? Oh, I don't drink, thank uh, you. Thanks. So tasty.
Unfortunately, it's time to board. It's so sad that our flight is no longer delayed because I just want to stay here. And uh, I'm so proud that San Francisco has now the best business lounge in the world. So exciting. And I wish you could feel the smell of new leather. And uh, marble doesn't smell good. Oh my god. So Dima just took a shower. How was it? It's so unusual to like, shower in the airport. It's so great. I brushed my teeth, I like... Oh, they gave you a toothbrush? Yeah, everything, like, even the house girl, like, this is for... Machalka. Machalka, I don't know. We don't know the English word. Like a scrub, whatever. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, bye. Bye-bye. Wow. It's like an oasis. And you now we're back to reality, right? Yeah, it's like... I was, like, so busy. Herzlich willkommen in München. 
finally some German practice. I'm gonna practice for two days and then off to practice my Italian in Italy. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you learned something new. I hope it was useful. And comment down below where you were watching this vlog from. Thank you so much. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, hit the red subscribe button. I'll see you soon.